my next question about milk is uh, uh, so in recent past there's a huge popularity in a2 milk so uh, it's just a milk which lacks uh, beta casein protein or uh, or in other words it can be uh, the milk from a pure cow without any uh, genetic modification so in a more indian term it is the milk of a desi cow so there have been lot of uh, forefront spiritual leaders who have been promoting this so i just wanted to know your take on uh, what a2 milk is all about and why it is same as the other milk you are asking me that the milk of the desi cow that is being promoted a lot in the religious circles and even in the the, the downtown cultural circles you are talking specifically about india specific to india really about india okay ah uh, it's it's quite funny actually you see we worship the cow and we torture it no end and people talk about desi gai ka doodh desi gai ka ghee they do not even know what they are doing to the creature they call as mother is this the kind of behavior you meet out to your mother milk her put a noose round her neck leash her to a pole or something or to a nail and then keep milking her artificially inseminate her and then leave her to her fate once she becomes old and infertile and dry in the name of worshiping the cow we have done great injustice to the cow again you know people need to be presented with facts and figures people need to know that the dairy industry and the meat industry are inseparable people think and there are millions of such people in india people think of meat eating as some kind of a lowly activity it is even a taboo to many but they think of drinking milk as something holy so the fellow will say i don't even touch eggs i survive only on milk as if milk is any less cruel a product than eggs or meat the direct and symbiotic relationship between the milk industry and the meat industry is not at all clear to people not at all there will be people who will be prepared to lay down their lives if they are asked to eat meat they'll say we are prepared to get killed but we will not take meat i respect that sentiment but these are the very same people who have no scruples no qualms about gulping down liters after liters of milk and lassi and kheer and ghee and paneer and cheese i'm not blaming them i'm just saying they are not informed they do not know where all the meat comes from they do not even know that india is a big exporter close to being the largest exporter of meat where is that meat coming from people do not bother to know what happens to the cow once it stops yielding milk and i, I do not mean to say that the only injustice meted out to the cow is the one after it becomes old even when the cow is young people need to go and check out what her life cycle is like and for the sake of somebody who can't survive without cattle milk it's quite stupid you know there is no animal in the entire universe that needs to have milk of any creature other than its own mother man is the only one who wants to drink cow milk buffalo milk goat milk yak milk camel milk camel milk is for the camel offspring is it not buffalo's milk is for the calf so what kind of ingredients is the buffalo milk likely to have the ones that are suitable only to the buffalo calf remember those ingredients are suitable only to the calf the little calf what will those ingredients do they will quickly turn the little calf into a full grown bull is that what you want to become a bull with a huge body and very little brains that's what milk will do to you milk has nothing for you the milk that a human being needs is adequately provided only by his or her mother and once the mother stops breastfeeding that is it now the human child needs no more milk but it's such a such an such an obsession and if you if you think deeply about it it's a very very perverse obsession trying to have the milk of a female of another species 
there is nothing holy at all about selectively using only the milk of the desi cow nothing at all it is as bad as going for any other kind of milk and going for any kind of milk is as bad as meat consumption it has to be squarely understood i know what i'm saying would shock many even offend many but it's all right facts need to be demonstrated somebody needs to speak things out